Hey guys, welcome to the 21st Autodesk Inventor tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to finish up looking at the Revolve tool. But before we do that, I just want to say that I did get a new mic. I got the Blue Snowball mic, and as you can tell, the audio quality is pretty great, so yeah. Anyways, let's just continue on with the tutorial. But I just want to say one more thing. Um, you're probably wondering how I got these shapes like out in space right here. Like as you can see, they're not like attached to anything. And I did that using something called a work plane. And we're actually going to get into that in the next tutorial. So for right now, just don't worry about it. All right. So with the revolve tool, we're actually going to make it so that um, when our revolution runs into something, it will stop. So let's say you wanted. Um, to revolve this circle around this line but when it hits this plane right here it'll stop revolving and of course you could use like uh, the angle and just come up with like an exact angle for that but it's not as good so like I said we're just going to uh, look at how to do that so we're just going to go up here to the revolve tool um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just select a uh, profile and for us that's the circle right here and your axis and that'd be the line for me and as soon as I select both of those we see we get a nice preview of what that revolution will look like and currently it just goes all the way around and it goes through everything well basically what we want to do is have it revolve in between here and here so that as soon as it gets to this plane right here it'll just stop revolving so what you're gonna have to do is just go over to where it says extents and change that to 2 and then it wants you to basically select a plane and this when your revolution hits this plane it will stop revolving so I'm just gonna go ahead and select this plane right here and as soon as I select a plane we see that it just shows a preview of what that revolution looks like and right now we see that it stops right there and you're probably wondering why it does that and that's because it stops at the plane not at a, this face right here and if you didn't know a plane just goes in all directions for forever so as soon as it runs into this plane right here, it stops revolving. And as soon as I rotate this, you'll see what I mean. So yeah, it did stop revolving at that plane right there. But we want it to stop revolving at this face when it's going in this direction. So what we have to do is basically just change the direction in which it's revolving. And to do that, you're just going to want to go over to the More tab right here. And then just go ahead and change the direction via these two buttons. So if you're in Direction 2, obviously change it to Direction 1 and if you're in direction 1 change it to direction 2 and I'm in direction 1 so I'm just going to go ahead and change it to direction 2 right there alright and as soon as we do that we see it did revolve in fact from here to here and as soon as it hit this plane it just stopped revolving so that's exactly what we wanted but let me just show you a few more things with this alright so if I click this button it will basically just revolve in both directions so it will revolve in this direction and in this direction so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And yep, as you can see, it revolved in both directions here. It revolved in this direction and in this direction. But it still did stop when it hit that plane. So it stopped when it hit that plane on both ends. And one more thing that I want to show you is this minimum solution. And the minimum solution is basically, um, well, when it's revolving, if it's on minimum solution, it means that the first time that it runs into this plane right here, it will stop revolving. But if we uncheck that, it will stop revolving at the last time that it intersects with that plane. So right here, it just kept on going because we didn't have minimum solution checked. And then it just stopped revolving the last time that it ran into that plane. So it just stopped revolving there. And if I were to just uh, change the direction on this again, uh, what it did is it just uh, uh, revolved around here. It ran into this plane right here. But since we didn't have minimum solution checked, it just kept on going and then the last time that it came in contact with that plane it did stop revolving alright and one last thing that I want to show you is adding and removing material so obviously right now we are adding material to this entire thing so this is adding more material right here but what if you wanted to cut out material or remove material so you wanted to make like a pipe hole right there well what you can do is just go over to shape and then change it to this cut right here and then when you change it to that, we see that it actually removes the material right there to make there be a pipe hole right in there. And the other one down here is something called intersect. So where there is material, so like there and there, then it will add material right there. So wherever it came in contact with something else, it will just add material there. And everywhere else, it will just remove it. 
Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, and that's all we're going to be doing with the Revolve tool. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at planes. So, see you guys.